Hey guys, welcome back to Expedition Tennessee. We're back on the trail again. I'm back. And right now we are at Collier Preserve. This place was, it was actually a homestead before the Colliers uh, donated it to the Preservation Society. But uh, basically what it was, was in um, 1796, the brothers, W.C. and Marshall Moore, they purchased 284 acres of this on this property. It was a farm. And uh, they had daughters, uh, Liza Jane and Molly and Stella Moore. Uh, Stella, she moved here with her father, Marshall. And uh, she ended up marrying a guy named Collier, which was already from the Powell area and all that. And uh, he worked at... Um, LNN railroads and done the trains he worked the trains but uh, anyway after he passed away they she moved back home and took care of the farm and all that and it would just pass down through the families and dr. Robert Collier uh, donated like I said he donated this preserve and there's still uh, some signs of the farm being here there's um, like a corn crib here and a couple other things but um, with that being said guys Let's go. All right, you can see the trail. And this is, I know y'all been to parks with kids. That's what this is. This ain't rocks, gravel, or anything. This is like a rubber. So, I mean, I think it really helps uh, with people with um, bad legs and feet. So, hopefully people will like that. And they got a stone path right there that leads down that way somewhere. I'm going to kind of stick where I'm at right now. There's the grandbabies. They're way down there. I guess I'll have to take the path. So, we're not going to stay on the path of least resistance. They're going to make Papa learn this one. But the... Got old river stones. And there's a place here, uh, from what I read, I'm going to try to find it. Uh, right here you can put in for kayaking and all that so maybe this is uh, what they were you know talking about was this down here I kind of cheat now I'm not on the rocks all that unlevelness just ain't nice You got different creeks that come in through here. Thought I'd show y'all this. And this is Beaver Creek. It's, it's nice. Ain't it cute? I don't look like Jackie. See, and the creek splits again, guys. All right, guys, we're going cross country right now. I didn't know. We should have just stayed on the trail. All right, guys. See all these orange markers? This was part of the old home site. And this is everything that they ran to dig and all that stuff. Just <laughs> crawling down here, boy. You can see they built retention ponds. 
right here. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Then we're retention ponds. There's net right under us. There's, There's right one there, one up there, one up there. This is Loop Trail. It's 0.3 miles. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's nice. Baby likes that. This place is real nice. They got the little story books that the kids read away along the hike. Trees fell. Old moss covered. That one rotted and split and snapped right there. I bet you wasn't none of these trees here when they first moved here. I know what I read was when she married the Colliers and everything, and they were a prominent family of Powell. And she Boy. moved to Knoxville with her husband because he worked at the L and Railroad. And from there, you know, after he passed away and everything, she moved back home to the farm and she lived out her life and passed away here. And then it just stayed, you know, in the family for generation after generation after generation. And I thought that was a pretty neat little story. You know, and then the family, the last person to uh, Collier to own it was Dr. Collier. And he donated it to the Preserve Society so that everyone would be able to enjoy this land and know the story of his family, you know, moving here in 17, I think 27 is when they actually moved here. And they got this property her with her her daddy and brother got this property in 1790s and then they've had it you know ever since you know tennessee wasn't even um a state at that time when they got the property uh because uh north carolina gave uh land parcels out and that's the land parcel that they got was out of North Carolina. And of course, you know, later on it becomes the state of Tennessee, which is split by the Smoky Mountains. So. My grandbabies are loving the creek up there. They want to go fishing. I'm going to find out where a uh, corn crib is so I can show y'all. I mean, I really don't see it out here, but uh, I'm going to find it, that's for sure. Okay, guys, I figured it out now. Right here, if you look at the map that I post with this and everything, they tore the corn crib down and all that, and it was actually right here. This is where the corn crib sat. And... But yeah, this is where it sat, guys. So I thought when I looked at the pictures and everything, it actually showed the corn crib and everything on the site. But I guess over the years they've tore it down. I hope y'all enjoyed this one. I know it wasn't adventurous or anything, but I hope y'all. Uh, Give me a like and a thumbs up on this one. It's my first one back in, I guess, four months. But 
I appreciate y'all. Y'all have a good one.